so in the last video we saw how to set the units and the sheet size of a drawing sheet now in this video we will see that how to draw the lines in the first one we will draw line so to draw a line use the command l so when you type l immediately it indicates line enter so specify first point is nothing but the first edge of the i mean first end of a line just click on certain location now it is asking you to specify the next point the next point in the sense the length of the line the length of the line okay suppose we will take it as 100 mm enter you can see now this is a 100 mm line but this is highly irregular this is highly irregular which is not in a straight i am deleting it once again i am taking it line specify first point 100 mm yeah so now 100 mm line is there but still it is not straight and very much irregular so i am deleting it again once again line so to make it as a perfect straight line now i am going to activate ortho mode you can see here 90 degree symbol is there ortho mode so when i am activating the ortho mode it turns to blue color means ortho mode is in on see now it is in blue color ortho mode activated you can see a perfect straight horizontal line you can see a perfect vertical line so present the length of the line is 280.7 now we require 100 mm so when i type 100 it indicates the length of the line is 100 enter yes this is the 100 mm line now i want a 100 mm line on vertical line i am specifying the first point here 100 escape see now this is a perfect 100 mm horizontal straight line now this is a perfect 100 mm vertical straight line so to measure it and to know the exact length you can go for the annotation bar means dimensioning everything will be here select linear select linear click at the two ends see perfect 100 mm horizontal straight line to measure the vertical line yes a perfect horizontal line a perfect vertical line this is how to draw a perfect straight lines now we will see how to draw an inclined lines how to draw an inclined lines so to draw is first i will make a one base line just i made i mean i drawn a base line now we will draw an line which is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal base of 100 mm length so activate the command line enter click at specific first point now still it shows horizontal and vertical because of ortho mode is in on i am switching it off now you can see it rotates 360 degrees now i require 30 degrees from the horizontal base you can see 30.38 is there but i need 30 exactly so first type less than symbol which indicates angle which indicates angle type 30 which is our requirement 30 degrees enter now you can see the line is perfectly in 30 degrees angle direction other than any direction perfect 30 degrees direction after specifying the angle now it is asking the next point now it is asking the next point nothing but the length of the line 100 mm enter escape now you can see 
a perfect 100 mm line which is at an angle of 30 degrees. So to confirm it, annotation tab, go to the angular method of dimensioning. See, 30 degrees is there. So when you giving when you are giving the angle, so it rotates in anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction. So it starts from here. So 30, 45, 60, 90, 180, 270, up to 360. It, the angle moves in anti-clockwise direction by default. Suppose if you want to turn it to clockwise as uh, we know units. So in the units angle, you can click on the clockwise. Just see, I switch it on clockwise. Okay. Now line command. Shift less than 30 degrees as we did it earlier, 30, 100. This is the same command we did it, but this time the angle moves from here to in this direction, clockwise direction because the, by default we specified the angle should move in clockwise direction. But it will be very difficult for each and every time we need to switch it on and off. So this is one of the method. Now I will tell you how to draw uh, a 30 degrees uh, angle in an anti clock, I mean, uh, other di different direction in another method. So, again, I am specifying the units. I am <coughs> removing the clockwise one. So, now we remove the clockwise tab, which is in off mode. Now, we want to draw 30 degrees uh, angular direction of 100 mm length with the normal commands. See, take the command line, specify first point and for the next point the angle in the previous case we gave 30 now we are giving minus 30 which is opposite direction means now the angle moves in a clockwise direction when you are specifying the minus the angle moves in a reverse manner clockwise direction minus 30 and then 100 yes now <coughs> the line is here 30 degrees in a clock the angle is in clockwise direction angle see 30 degrees once again one more example i will draw line specify first point now the line should be at 60 degrees so shift less than 60 of 100 mm length of 100 mm length Sixty degrees. Now we want to draw the same hundred mm length in a reverse direction. Line. Specify the same origin point. Now give the angle less than symbol minus sixty. Previously sixty degrees. Now minus sixty, and then hundred mm length of the line. So to confirm it, measure the angle. Same 60 degrees and the length of the line 100 mm. So this is the way to draw inclined lines or angular lines. <coughs> yeah, as of now, you know how to draw vertical and uh, horizontal straight lines as well as inclined lines. So after drawing the lines, we need to know how to give the line weightage, I mean line thickness and the line types. What's the use of it? You can see here, these are the types of lines used in engineering drawing. So continuous thick line, which is the application for visible outlines, visible edges, main representation diagrams, flowcharts, etc. As well as continuous thin type line, which is in continuous thin. So these lines are used for imaginary lines of intersection, dimensions, extension, projection lines, leader lines, etc. And this is the continuous thin normally we can draw and zigzag 
for long break lines dashed lines this is a continuous line and this is a break lines nothing but dashed dashed thick lines for showing permissible of surface treatment so as of now not required so dashed thin line so dashed thin line for uh, specify i mean representing the hidden outlines and hidden edges chain thin long dashed dotted used for center lines keep in mind center lines lines of symmetry trajectories pitch circles of holes or arcs and then chain thin narrow with a thick wide these are used for cutting planes so in the autocad defaultly always it will be of continuous line in the autocad defaultly the line will be of continuous line you can see in the properties bar in the properties bar you can see this is belongs to the color of the line this belongs to color of the line or object and this one belongs to the line thickness or line weight line weight it starts from 0.05 mm thickness to 2.1 mm of the line thickness and coming here this is the line type so what are the types of lines so defaultly by block and by layer it will be a continuous line these are the previous lines i uploaded now i am removing i am removing i am removing it so defaultly when you open the autocad by layer by block continuous lines will be present so to load or to draw different types of lines so click on the line type other here you can see load click on the load when you click on the load you will get different types of lines available in the drop down menu now i am selecting dashed line okay so when i click okay automatically this line will be this line will be updated into the current drawing sheet i mean drawing board now one second i need one more iso dash space this one okay so one more line added into the current sheet now i want center line center line i am clicking in the center line okay now i uploaded i mean i updated three different types of lines i saw dashed line which is of very white i saw dash space which is of very white and center lines okay now you can see first before giving the line type i will give you the i mean i will tell you the procedure how to give the thickness of the line so this is the line i want to give thickness to this line i want to give thickness to this line now i am going to give 0.35 mm 0.35 mm so when i click automatically it displays a thick line generally in the autocad so now i will tell you later now i am going to give this line as 0.4 mm thickness 0.4 mm thickness now you can see the difference which is a very thin and which is very thick so i am going to give this line thickness as 0.5 or 0.6 each and every line i am giving different different weights for your understanding say when i click on this line automatically it displays the line is of 0.35 mm when i click on this line the line shows i mean displays 0.4 mm thickness when i click on this line it indicates the line is on line is of 0.6 mm thickness generally autocad defaultly won't display see when i am clicking it it says 0.35 but it is not displaying the thickness when i am clicking this line it says 0.4 mm but it is not displaying 0.4 mm thickness of line because we need to activate click the line weight settings display line weight tick this mark check this box display line weight to activate the line weight okay when you give then only it will display the line weight by default it will be in untick one you have to tick so this is the 
line giving thickness to the lines giving thickness to the lines then how to change the type of the line see now i am taking this line this is a 0.35 na no? so remaining two lines also i am going to take 0.35 selecting multiply two lines 0.35 0.35 now i am going to give uh, different shapes so this is continuous thick continuous thick so the thick will be 0.35 mm now i need this line as thin one so just you can change the uh, thickness thin one these are the all continuous lines i am going to change into dashed one select this line go to the line type click on whatever the see this is the dashed line i just selected this line now the line change it to dashed line now again i am taking this line and i am giving one more line type see both are dashed lines but the spaces are much i mean very wider now i am taking sorry now i am taking this line as a center line so this is the way to specify or give line type to the lines yes now everything is in white color by default suppose if you want to make it as a differential from the uh, dimensioning lines everything you can give colors to this one so select this one give color i am giving red color to this line i am giving yellow color to this line i am giving some other color to this line suppose you can give colors to this dimensions also see now you can give dimensions to this colors also no problem so this is the way to draw lines which is of straight lines inclined lines and also specifying the line thickness as well as line type yes once you finish the drawing you can save save <coughs> the file name you can give as lines it will be in dot dwg file which is of drawing file save that's it